Good morning, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you back to um, our second term, uh, as we call it, the winter term. And this morning, I would like to introduce you to our second term's uh, theme for the term. It's called Building Bridges and Breaking Barriers. And this assembly is dedicated to that. Before I get into that, I just want to thank uh, each and every one of you for the wonderful support we have enjoyed from the Whips family. I'd like to thank the boys and the girls of the Whippets for the way that they applied themselves at the end of last term. I want to thank the parents and the caregivers at home who have helped and supported the children of Whips, and obviously to the staff, to the teaching staff and support staff, um, admin staff, who have enabled us to put on the Wattle platform, which I believe has started out extremely well. And over the holidays, the teachers have expanded and grown this platform uh, into a very exciting and enjoyable uh, experience of learning and development. But this morning, I want to touch on building bridges and breaking barriers. And I have a PowerPoint to share with you. And this PowerPoint. Uh, we'll explain a little bit more about how we want to use this in building our relationships during this term. So to start off with building bridges and breaking barriers. The four Bs. This is an area where we look at how we can develop our relationships without um, destroying the things that we built up between our families, our family members, our friends. And we're going to spend a lot of time and energy having a look at how we can do that successfully. In Luke chapter 6, verses 47 to 48, everyone who comes to me and listens to my words and obeys is like a man building a house. He digs deep and lays his foundation on rock. The floods come and the water tries to wash the house away, but the flood cannot move the house because the house was built well. This reading from our Bible really enables us to think about solid foundations before we build. The bridges that we have must be strong and they can certainly support our, ourselves and support others, those people who are around us that are important to us. And they are family and friends. And so as we look at these beautiful bridges around the world, we are in awe of what engineers and construction workers and builders are able to do and how magnificent these um, structures are. Now, there are some famous bridges around the world. The Golden Bridge in Vietnam was one I didn't know about. But as I was researching for this, uh, this morning's assembly, I came across some of these magnificent structures. The Bridge of Sars is in Venice, and there are wonderful stories around the Bridge of Sars. And uh, I would like you to spend a bit of time finding out a little bit more about this world famous bridge. Now, barriers can be streams or canals, and it's something that we've got to cross. We've got to get across this barrier. And so we use bridges as we build a relationship. Now, these bridges are often symbols of hope. And we talk about WIPS being a school of hope, a place where we will always remain positive and work towards a better goal, a better way of life for all South Africans, for all people in our world. People love to walk and jog across bridges or simply just to spend time looking out over an expanse of water. We often find as fishermen that we will stop and find a regular spot on a bridge where we can uh, drop our line in the water. And likewise, when we're driving from place to place, 
we'll often stop a car, our car, and view um, the beautiful vista from that bridge. At times, people put barriers between themselves and others, and we have to cross that. We have to rebuild our relationships, and we do this as a frigative bridge. Barriers can include many things, things such as fear of the unknown, distrust, anger, misunderstanding, prejudice, judgment, age, race, cultural differences, extreme jealousy, religious differences. And so often it's because we do not listen or seek to understand other people. This can really have an effect on our relationships with each other in our world, in our country, and in our school. So at the moment, we are experiencing extreme barriers preventing us from being together, from being together at school, in the classroom, uh, from being together in the workplace. And this barrier is the COVID-19 situation we find ourselves in. But our distancing from each other is necessary at this time to keep us safe. And so we need to continue to respect the laws of the land. But our bridge at WIPS is our com commitment to the communication and our ability to carry on with our online teaching and learning. This communication between your teachers and you, the pupils, and your parents is vitally important. And it's a two-way street. So I invite you to stay close to your teachers and to ask questions, to ask for help, to ask for guidance. A good bridge needs to be strong. And the materials that are used when building a bridge are very important. The structure and the planning is also very uh, uh, vital. And this makes bridges strong. Planning, preparation, and then the materials that we use. And how you gather your materials at home and prepare for the work that lies ahead is going to be vitally important. So let us build strong bridges, boys and girls. If I speak to the boys, they will understand that when they go to DT, they know the structures and how to make good, sturdy, and steadfast bridges. And here at WIPS, I want you to remember our WIPS values. Use the values as the material that we can use every single day to help us to become stronger and better people. If I look at these values, we will be reminded appreciation, to appreciate our health and the love of our families. Courage, the courage to face each other with strength and to do our very best. Integrity is always to do the right thing even when no one is watching. Passion is to be excited and, and enthusiastic about the things we do, whether it is your schoolwork, your chores, or the fun games that you'll be playing. Show respect to people around you. Always remember that you have a responsibility to others. These are our six core values and they underpin our motto of work hard and play straight.
like to thank uh, Mrs. De Santos and the boys from the orchestra, the senior boys in our orchestra, for playing Lord Behold Us in such a beautiful way. Um, and all of that done in a virtual platform, online, and put together so beautifully. So thank you very much, Mrs. De Santos. And now, as we start the term, I ask you that we pray. Lord God, we thank you for this time of rest. We thank you for the ability of our teachers to prepare and plan. We ask that the boys and girls of WIPS are now prepared to work hard and enjoy this term. There are times of great fun, but there's times to apply yourself in the classroom and in our case, on the Wattle platform. Lord, we ask you for your guidance. We give you thanks for your parents. We give you thanks for our children. And mostly we give you thanks for our lives. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you do for us. And we ask this in your son's name, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, everybody. And now we will uh, raise the flag, and this is a symbol of whips being back in session. Thank you very much. Right, we now are going to hoist the flag um, as a symbol that whips is back in session. Um, and I thank Mr. Watson uh, for the work he um, and Mr. Dutaba have done over the holidays to keep uh, the school looking clean neat and tidy uh, and now uh, without any further ado we will raise the flag and whips will be back in session for the winter term. <laughs> 